Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are in chapter number eight. It's actually the last movie of this uh, uh, training program. And remember, this is uh, a training program that you can uh, find for free in our YouTube channel or in our website. And remember, if you want to learn more about this, this is my commercial. You're free to go and uh, check the courses that we have and we offer in our website. At our website. So now let's talk about uh, rendering. Okay, that's really important because obviously we have all these, and probably we want to take that out uh, as a, a one single uh, image. Now, obviously you probably don't want this because uh, because I mean we have this circle right here but it's just to show you because I want you to see that is not the same thing because remember we had our read which is uh, the original one so I'm gonna send these objects uh, out to render and I want to have something different so that you can see that I am actually not using the same thing here so uh, obviously we can use uh, only probably this okay the fire and that probably will work good too, but just to have more um, a more intense uh, <laughs> definition, right? So that way, for sure, you're gonna see. Okay, that's not the same image. Well, now why we want to render this? Because obviously, if you want to uh, send this uh, composition to someone else so that they can do more work on on this you you're probably gonna be able to send this type of file and they if they have nuke also they can uh, keep tweaking this more and more but if you're gonna send this to somebody that is gonna actually edit this piece of footage with uh, the other section of the if you're working in a movie for example they need your portion in a format that other application can read and it all depends of what type of application they're using for editing now obviously you have a lot of different types of formats and for uh, in order to export these objects and now you you need to well they're gonna tell you what format uh, they need in for you to to bring in uh, or uh, for you to output and obviously if you're working by yourself there are some considerations that you have to take in order to uh, figure out what type of file you want to to use but for now let's keep things uh, simple if you try to render right now you're probably like how where is the bottom well if you go to render here in your main menu you will have different options you have proxy mode control p you can click on here and there we go we have our proxy mode we don't want that so I'll just click on this uh, little guy and uh, if you can see when I click on proxy I am just pressing this little button here that allows me to go to proxy mode then that's not uh, rendering right so now if I press render all okay I'm rendering all but what's going on I don't have a, a render I, I'm not rendering anything so what I get is a render uh, window and it's telling me okay what range you want to render in this case I'm gonna say okay I want to use my input just like uh, the, the way I showed you uh, before in, in, in this region I can change to global custom or viewer one so in this case I'm gonna leave this uh, at input or I can go here and change only one frame for example I can go from frame one to frame one and that will make our life easier right and then I can use the proxy the same thing if I press this I'm gonna use the proxy mode then I can render in the background so I don't have to wait but in this case uh, everything is fine because it's just one frame then I'm gonna click OK and OK what happened there are no write operations in this script then that means that we need something else right so let's uh, see if we go here you can see that we have the read node which allows to read files but if we want to place files out we need to write them so I'm gonna click on here and now I have my write node now the write node I can plug that in any single object for example if I want to take only the the object with the fire I can just kind of plug this in this node and that way I'm gonna be rendering only this portion of my network if I want to get the complete uh, set of uh, nodes I can take this and connect that right here now this is another thing okay the the, the right node is actually what is gonna be my uh, is gonna hold all that information the viewer is just a reference of what I am uh, using so which means that it doesn't matter if I'm looking at this read for example in my viewer what I'm gonna write is this uh, comp okay whatever is uh, 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 reaching the, the input of the write that's what I'm gonna be writing out so one thing that you could do is uh, place your write node 
always uh, one uh, one uh, position before the viewer so that way you know that what you're viewing is what you're going to be rendering now uh, that's just uh, one option if you want to to keep track of everything right but as you know you have the flexibility to change right away from one to another you can go here do, uh, to number two i was going to say dos <laughs> uh, but then you can go here number one etc etc or right and then click one and that's a uh, different uh, option so now we have our, our right operation here so which means that probably if we go here to render and we click on render all we are not going to get in trouble in trouble let's go and click ok ok now i have another problem you must specify a file name to write uh, to write to ok perfect so I'm going to click OK, then I'm going to select my right node, then I'm going to go here to the its properties, and I have uh, an area here called File. So I can click here, and I'm going to paste the, uh, the path that I want to use, and then I'm going to type a name. In this case, it's going to be my uh, first, first, yeah, uh, actually, render. I have an accurate position right now for my keyboard, excuse me about that. And then I have this, uh, this is going to be the name of my, of my render, my first render. And I'm going to go here to this Foundry Nuke Free Training Render. Okay, that's the folder that I want to use. And you have options for uh, rendering uh, proxies also, but we're not going to talk about this right now. So I'm going to go here to the frame extension because I actually want to have a different extension. Uh, in this case, I have a T file, for example, but I don't know, I could have different options. For example, the color wheel is not, a, uh, it doesn't have a, a specific file format. So I'm going to go here and select uh, in the file type. I'm going to change that to probably uh, JPEG because uh, if, if you want to, you know, get something quick and just uh, if you can render only your uh, masks and things like that, you can probably, you know, get uh, this uh, this type of format and you can tweak the quality. You can get a lower quality render and it's gonna uh, render faster, uh, probably. Or you know, it all depends of. Uh, well, actually, I, I don't think that. Uh, influence um, that much as uh, all the different options you have inside here for example the if you have a 3d object like uh, in the previous movie where we had our object that is gonna take more time than rendering this for example and there's a lot of things that you have to take into consideration effects blur uh, if you have uh, a lot of different operations going on inside your network that's what is gonna take um, uh, more time and also how many frames you want to render in this case we are only uh, going to be rendering uh, frame range one to one I, I think that's the, the setting that we have right now and we can limit it to this uh, range or just uh, leave it uh, the way it is now this frame range uh, if we go here we have this option render all you can see that we have here frames range one to one which uh, which is why we are getting this uh, option now I can go here and click OK, and now I have uh, I should have my render. And now you can see that if I go here, I have my first render. Now what's happening here? Well, the thing is that I specify my name, okay, the name of my file, which is my first render. And now I can see that it's a file, but it doesn't is not telling me that is uh, what, what type of format are we using. Now, one thing that I can do here is obviously go here to my properties and then I can change the name here. I can go and say JPG and click OK. And now I can see my image. And as you can see, I send this image and now I'm getting this type of uh, the, 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 the image that I want. So, but why we have to do that? Well, the problem is that I did, uh, I created this name, but I never ended. So, one thing that I, that you should do is place a point in here and uh, if you know what type of file you want to use you can actually type it right here so I can go and say if for example and that way I'm gonna have a different uh, type of uh, object I have the file type and actually this is the one that I can use uh, for Maya so instead of if uh, it will be tiff okay sorry about that uh, I have a TIFF image, and now if I place only one TIFF, doesn't matter. My uh, Nuke recognizes everything, and it's telling me, okay, it's a TFF, uh, or you can go here and place TIFF like that. 
and now let's try this we have still the frame from one to one so we can render again or we can specify uh, another frame it doesn't matter let's uh, render this because anyways it's going to appear as a different uh, kind of object so let's say custom one to one let's click ok and that window that you saw that's uh, that means that we are rendering and now if we go here you can see that I have my div file it's actually another object and now the cool thing is that I can bring this div file and what I get is the same result but and instead of having all this network everything is just uh, is inside this single image is all that is uh, is like a group inside this but the, the downside of it is that I cannot modify uh, the content of this uh, uh, image the way I can do it uh, the way I can do it here okay so that's how we can render our images now if we want to render the entire sequence what we should do is um, actually we need to specify the the number of frames that we want in this case a thousand frames is a lot so I'm just gonna go here and select that and change that to input so that only we only we have the all, all what we have is 38 frames and then we will go to our render again and I'm gonna select for example render all and I'm gonna change that from 1 to 38 okay and then I can click OK and what is happening okay right one cannot be executed for multiple frames okay now what is that I'm gonna click OK the problem here is that as you can see here in the read one if I move to frame 12 I have part 3 uh, 12 then I have 20 and then I have 20 here so I have kind of different files that I'm reading so the same thing should happen here right now I have only one file and if I go to 10 20 I have nothing here so I need to specify that I need more than one objects and how can we do that I don't have an option here let's see okay file proxy color space the range yeah I can specify here limit from uh, 1 to uh, 38 probably okay there we go let's try this I'm gonna go here to render render all okay and the same thing what's going on all right the problem is that this is not for a, a specification of how many files I want. It's just a specification of how many frames I want to send. I'm sending to 38, but I don't have uh, a spot for them. Okay, I only have one place to put these 38 uh, objects, and that's why New is like you want 38, but you have only one space. So. What I, can, what I can do here is I can come to this area and remember when we were if we read something for example here in part 3 if I activate sequences you can see that I have part 3 the name and then I have these uh, path uh, these number uh, spaces or symbols and then the name of my uh, the, the, the option of, of the file name okay so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take that because that's a variable so I can click here and I can say Okay, number, I'm sorry, where is my, my number, the symbol, my number is not given, given me that, I think my, yeah, I changed my keyboard to Canadian French, so let's do that, like this, so as you can see, I have this uh, render path, then I have the sequence, I have these two objects, and they match perfectly with uh, this type of uh, sequence that we have here so actually what we have here is a variable and Nuke is telling us okay you have one two numbers or two digits and you can send now uh, probably from zero 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 to 99 right so now let's try this and let's see if we can render this so another way of doing that is just press in this little area you have a render order you can render here you're gonna have the same window we can say okay and now you can see this progress uh, window and you see rendering and it's telling you what frame are we rendering right now 17 18 of 38 time to go seven six five four three two one zero there we go so now if we go here you can see that we have our sequence of images our 38 frames and it's called my first render and I have all these uh, objects together 
Now another thing we can do, instead of using this variable, you can actually come and select uh, this uh, symbol, the percentage symbol, symbol. then you put, uh, for example, 0, um, 3, because we want 3 digits, and then we place uh, the letter D, okay? And that way, we will get a uh, 3 digits uh, path, and then I can change the name, for example, here, and I can say, you know what, this is going to be my second. So, second is my second render. And let's go back here, and I'm going to change that to probably JP. Oops, no, that's incorrect. Like that. And now everything is going to change automatically here. Okay, and I can low the resolution if I want, really, really low, so that we can see the difference. And now another thing is that I can copy this, copy, and I can paste it. Okay, so now I have two. And I can take this one and render, for example, this one only with uh, with the fire. And what is going to happen is that if I click on rendering right now, okay, let me just connect this one. So here I'm going to be rendering only the fire, and with the right one I'm going to be rendering uh, the entire thing. So if I go here and click on render all one more time, I'm going to be rendering both objects but if you already have one rendered and you only want to render one what you should do is select one of these for example and then you will go here and select render selected or press F7 and that way you're only going to be rendering the one that you actually are selecting at this point. Um, uh, another thing is that you can select this one for example render 2 and then you can click on render and we're going to be uh, looking at right to second jpg let's click ok and the same thing we're going to have now this uh, frame 20 21 25 etc etc until we get to 38 and now we should have that inside the same region now you can see we have my second render starting from frame one and we have uh, the padding that we specified 001 because in this one we have three digits okay zero three digits and that's the that's what we are getting here and now we have only the fire version of this object I mean the color wheel is not uh, appearing in this section so I hope you have an idea of how we can use the render settings inside Nuke and I will see you in our next uh, uh, course in our next uh, class uh, or I don't know what are we going to be doing just remember if you if you want us to keep doing this like the, our videos uh, post a comment and uh, subscribe to our channel and that way we know that you you want more thank you very much and I will see you later bye bye for now